Okay, so are you telling me that? I wonder if- are, are they talking about me like I'm not here? Uh, old movie quote. Okay, some more of this, some more of that. Uncle Colonel, I hope you find- It's not Emily. Oh my Jesus! Emily! 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 Oh, Emily! I love you. Oh my god, so much. Is it at the top of the tower? Sends me halfway up. Um. Ah, I can't. Ah, I can't jump. Okay. How am I getting to the top of this? Ah. I'm pretty confident that it's all the way at the top. But, I mean, it's probably in here somewhere. Uncle Kurnow, I hope you find this. I'm devastated. The girl I've been caring for is gone. Emily is her name. Yes, that Emily. Daughter to the Empress. Is she talking to me? She's gone. Did you call me Kerno? I took her away in a boat this morning. I don't know where, and her hair hadn't been combed. I worry who will look after her. <laughs> you don't know I my name. Chance to say goodbye. Okay, you don't know my name, and you're worrying about her hair wasn't combed. You're fucking fired. <laughs> I'm tired of you watching Emily. It's a good thing you're dead. That was terrible, but still. What am I looking for? Is there a marker I'm missing? Is it at like the top? Was I ever able to get up there at the top? Shit. Um, hey you. Well, Corvo, I hope we can be considered colleagues again. You were condemned. I was kidnapped. Men like us rise above such things. Yes, sir. As to the good admiral, I believe men such as Havelock start with high-minded intentions. Same with Martin, and maybe even Pendleton. Though I suspect he was just lazy. Uh. But no one is prepared for the sheer seductive influence of being so close to real power. Once you start ordering people killed to get your way, everything else is mere detail. I return to my work now, and you to yours. I think I... Killing people, I mean. Yeah. I sincerely hope it goes well. Killing people, I mean. I think I can get up here. Yeah. I don't know. I'm surprised she didn't call Emily Emma Boo. Ah, shit. Alright, let's see. Fucking plants! Fucking plant ass thing. Making it so I can't see where I go. Oh, that didn't work. Fucking. Ugh, where am I going? What am I doing? Oh, is this the tall boy that was unconscious? Hopefully they stay unconscious, and I'm going to remove his body from somewhere. Behind the desk. Grenade, grenade, grenade. This. General notice. Um, Piro missing. Skullvlog missing. Interrogate, then execute. Found dead, found dead, found dead. Believe dead, assume, assume missing, kill on sight. Uh, missing, kill on sight. Samuel! Oh, no, it's not Samuel. Put the corpses in bags and keep them in the backyard. Do not disturb or search the bodies in any other way. Alright. Ah, oh, you're a fucking prick. Hey, is that food? <laughs> right off the ground. I'm not. Yeah, you look relaxed. 
So who I didn't kill was in turn knocked out. He's gonna wake up with all his friends dead. I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. I was supposed to go to Emily's tower and then there's supposed to be something in there. A flare of some kind which I do not have on me. Alright, I'm gonna go look again. Gonna search a room now. A lot, a lot more. I just want to get in the tower. Okay, let's try this again. Shit. So that worked actually. And I wish I didn't kill those people because I knew, cause I knew that would have worked. All right. Am I missing something? Is bullets? Bullet. Samuel, my friend. Thought I'd find you here. It never pays to bet against you, does it? Nope. I saw the signal. I knew you'd be back, Corvo. I knew it. I knew it. We should start off soon. I've been feeling something in my bones, and if it's plague, well, I can't be counted on to drive this boat much longer. We're going to Kyoso Island. That's where they've taken Emily. Good. There's one more trip across the river to where it meets the sea. That's where the Lord Regent was building his new lighthouse. Ought to be something to see. Alright, let's go. Hostiles killed. Uh, Kai Chaos. I killed everyone, and I was detected all the time. I found Emily's drawings. Man, I am getting the worst ending because the endings are based off of chaos and like there's no way to, yeah, there's a way to not kill people, but with 500 of them and you only have one way to get out and they're just sitting there guarding it. The leaders of the Loyalist Conspiracy have moved to the Monumental Lighthouse, a um, final military project devised by Lord Regent. They're holding Emily and struggling to blah, blah, blah. Let's roll. I'm gonna end this. So, the island is a bloody mess. Feels like he has the plague. Looks like they fought. Maybe over Emily. Just huh? after they landed. Where? I bet the Admiral's got her locked up in a lighthouse somewhere. Probably. Hamilton's lost the first Okay, so I remember what I said when I first doing his best oh. to drink himself to death. I remember what I, I said when I first started playing this that it would look so gross. No, this game's actually very, very pretty. Each other it has a unique art style which I was not used to. Mad. Martin's a snake. Lord Hamilton is a coward. And Lord, you. I'm a little disappointed, Corvo. What? It's like you've gone out of your way to be brutal. It's been interesting traveling with you, but this is the last time you'll see me, sir. Goodbye. My only hope is that Emily comes out of this already. Man, this, he, he now everybody's hinting that I'm getting the t terrible end. Out. Oh my God! That's where we Let fight. Let go this once. Right. I'm warning you, Corvo. Out of the boat. Goodbye. What the fuck you do if I stay in the boat? You're gonna warn me. Get out of the boat. Fuck you. Goodbye. I hope you feel better with your scurvy. Awesome! Okay, so. The lighthouse. I am currently there, and I need to go through the fort to get to the lighthouse. 
maybe I can swim around and get onto the island. They are souping me up for this one. Shit. Oh my god, they're everywhere. And I don't have any sleeping darts. Fuck. Why couldn't I buy any from a uh, Skovloff? Oh. That's cool, I guess. I'm gonna get in there. I'm warning you, Carvo, out of the boat now. Shut up, Sammy. You're my friend, but I mean, come on. Stop being a pick. So, is this gonna kill me? Damn it! Why did that not work? Shit, now you're gonna have a waterfall, man. Epic music for being underwater. Fix that problem. Okay. Good. I'm gonna go ahead and head over to that side. So, I'm being very bad, according to Sam. Okay. Maybe I was a little brutal when I was freed from my little prison and I was pissed. Yes. Fuck everyone except Emily. That is my status quo. That's not even what it means that. That is what I've been trying to do this entire game. Save Emily. So yeah, I was fucking pissed when they took Emily and tried to kill me off. I know you're here. Shit, I hear him. When I find you, it's going to be bad. Awesome, man. I don't gotta do any dirty work. Here you are. Now, oh, shit. I need more men. Hi.
going to be being. You gotta get up there. I think that thing ran out of juice up there. You're probably up there. I'm gonna have the worst ending ever. Um, uh, ah, shit, run. Ow. Alright, um, I don't know. Do you wanna hear the ending? Not the ending, but you wanna hear about it? Man, this is awesome. Um,. So there's one of two endings. There's a good ending and then there's a bad ending. In the bad ending, um, you know, Emily is still queen, but everyone tries to overpower her like every five minutes, so you're always guarding her and all that. Alright, where's the wiring for this? Is it inside of the place? Oh. Hey look, probably a way in. Man, Corvo goes to sewer for days. Ah, there it is. Corvo is pro, uh, pro sewer. Fuck it. I choked him out, yeah. But, so, I'm still stuck with what Samuel said. Like, you're going out of your way to be evil. Or brutal, rather. Which, I mean, I was pushed to my limit, man. They took Emily, my really only family that I've had in this entire game. Should I turn this off or rewire it? I'll use one. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hello. So, oh, uh, how the innings boil down. You kill a lot of people, you get the bad ending. See, I like that. It turns to ashes when you kill him without him noticing. This should be rewired so... Oh, yellow. Another map. So, we are currently there. We can head to our right and head to the main thing. Or head right and take a left and head into that darker brown area. I get up there. Okay. No one here? Good. It's not the best you can do. You disappoint me, Martin. Why don't you come down and settle this man to man? You is nice up here. I'm not moving. Don't try to act brave, you worthless piece of inbred shit. Ooh. Come and get me if you're so strong. Stupid blue blood. Let's see how you like this. Oh. Martin, you couldn't hit me if I was standing next to you. <laughs> Yeah. Now I'll sit for a while and consider the problem of getting into the gatehouse. I need time alone. <laughs> oh, yes. 
Whoa, why did his head just break? I like that. No bodies. Okay. What is all in here then? We have some more elixir. They. Okay. For those of you. Oh, fuck it. I'm just going to use one of these. For those of you who don't know, there's a thing in gaming called a boss fountain. And what a boss fountain is, it isn't. What, dude? A boss fountain is an area full of like, let's say, let's say you play Call of Duty, right? A boss fountain would be a uh, room entirely filled with grenade launchers and like just laser guns, all those high tech weapons. High power weapons, right? Rather. I cannot speak. I like that because then he turns to ash. No remnants, nothing. How many people are up here? Soon there will be very few. Hi. Let me try to finish this statement. So here's how the ending's well done. You get a good ending if you don't kill a lot of people, don't have high chaos. And the good ending is pretty much that Emily rules um, over the place and it's all happy friends. Saying that you did a good job in getting rid of the chaos that is this city. And then the bad ending is pretty much the opposite. She still rules, but everything is in chaos. You are our bodyguard forever. I'm not saying that that's the bad thing, I'm just saying that, like, you're her bodyguard forever, you always protect her. No. Shit, he knows me. Alright, I'm about to uh, put this thing into pause right quick. There it is. Alright, what powers can I get? Oh, a uh, bumper? Yeah. I have a PlayStation 3 controller, come on now. Shadow kill. All enemies turn to ash as they die. Fucking, I'm about to use that. Awesome. Now any enemy I kill will turn to ash. Now I don't know if this will deplete the chaos, because the chaos comes from dead bodies being found, from what I read. And hiding them is very, eh. I'm here. I'm not gonna plead innocence. When we dug you out of Cold Ridge Prison, we had the best of intentions. We'd find Emily and strike against the Lord Regent. 
But once we started ordering deaths, blackmailing those in power, and all the other things you're not supposed to do, well, I guess it just became a habit. It's a hard thing, holding the keys to the Empire in your hands. It weighs on a man's mind heavily. I seem to have done just fine. Curse Havelock and Pendleton as fools. Curse me as well. I can't stop you from going after Emily, but I'm not going to give you the privilege. I was born into nothing, and it's nothing I'll return to. Okay. Present yourself. Someone get over here. Stand clear. That's going in the movie. You're going down, bitch. Here you are, assassin. Well, that happened. I oversee you. Experts from the thing. Uh, Coral Islands is in the middle of a blah 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 blah. You can pause it if you want to read it. If not, whatever. Alright. Uh, okay. Moving. That's not. It's all. There you go. All enemies that die turn to ash. This is awesome. Pendleton, you're next. I'm getting my revenge one by one by one. You never cross Corvo. We'll see how that worked out for the last overseer, don't you? Mm -hmm. Hello. I need more men. Oh, oh, you're not gonna outmatch me. Hey, yeah! I like that they turned to ash. Been here already. Our guns not clear. To the void with you. You need your heart to the hounds. Someone get over here. Now how come he didn't die? Oh, he did die. How come you're not dead? Maybe because my magic is not working. Oh, excuse me, I had to... That doesn't take me anywhere. I'm gonna go up here. Never cross Corvo, or... Really never cross Emily. I'm dying here. That bastard's done me in. Corvo, I knew you would get here. Oh, hey. You seem to be dead. Well, you're too late. I'm already dying without your help. A stray bullet. I'll never know whose. What could I offer you anyway? You want money? Well, I'm broke. Women, maybe? Everyone knows you were screwing the Empress. You like noble women. You should meet my cousin Celia. <laughs> I am going to fucking murder you. Are you done talking? Fuck you! All right, <sighs> Sorry I let your fucking brother live. Shit. Fuck. 
Okay. Leaving. I wish I had to take a the case, but I didn't know. I thought we had already won. I still say his lordship was removed. Yeah, the Admiral was just faster. Come back. His lordship's landed us right in the shit now. You're right there. Have like up top. Martin at the gates, and us in the middle, and our man's wounded. Shut your mouths, both of you. We're Pendleton's men. Live or die, we're going to act like it. Forever. Keep running. Huh? Someone get over here. There you are. Take it. Shit. Great bullet, probably mine. Oh, that happened and broke. I know you're here. I am more than likely just gonna take all these guys on. Because Corvo. Corvo is tired of shit. Thank you, please. Alright, well, I'm gonna have plenty of footage for an upcoming project then. I like this that they turn to ash and I'll have to deal with their bodies. You all blindly serve whoever sits at the top, never knowing who they are. Well, I feel like I can go up beyond it. Oh. I was trying to avoid your bullets. Ah, fuck you, man. For me. Ha! Ha! Fell for my old bait and ruse. Alright, now how am I gonna get across this thing? I could probably just freestyle and run by it. Alright. Okay. Go. Oh my god, I almost fell off and I almost freaked out. Good, I avoided. Now then, anyone else? Good. See, gentlemen, Corvo is not your mother. Corvo does not like to be screwed over. We are going to kill this guy. Oh, I'm ready for it. Oh man! Last part of the game! Last mission! Let's do it. You can survive Great Falls by possessing someone just before you hit. You can also just blink down, you know? But whatever. Kitty, am I bothering you? No, oh, we're in a cutscene, so are we gonna get fucked? Screwed, rather. I'm sorry. It's a good ending. It's full of energy and not sneaking. Like, I like sneaking gameplay, all just like everybody else, but too much of it kind of ruins the whole experience. What a sass. You're an assassin. Get off. Come 
come on duck. Hi. You're gonna have to come to the elevator, sir. Gonna take you right into the danger zone. Oh, sorry, I thought you were dead. I'm gonna need your pistols. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Alright. I mean, there's no tall boys in this level, so I can literally run around and kill all of them. I'm surprised there's no tall boys, actually. For being a very fortified place. I'd imagine everything was a tall boy. Oh my god, this is the place the party was at. Huh, I never noticed. And thus, here is our final confrontation. Me and you, Overseer and Assassin. Morally, we are very different, but ideally, we are very much similar, you and I. Can I poison this? I just want to poison stuff. Think I hear a tall boy. What do you have to say? You've done such things, cowardly things, that I'm ashamed of. How could anyone ever forgive us? Would they? Even if things are better? No, no, that's not how it works. Once the bureaucrats step in, everything gets muddy. If anyone ever knew, we'd all lose our heads for this. So no one can know. And could we ever control Emily with Corvo around? That's the question that sticks in my mind. We need to make our final move, and we need to make it cleanly. No loose ends. Only a few in the know. The ones with the most to lose. Oh, so that's why he killed everybody. No loose ends. Oh my god! You left his blood. Was that you? Have I been beaten here by someone? <gasps> Did that assassin I let free? You are. Fuck, I can't even control my fucking thing. I'm already seeing this. You are fucking dead. Emily, Emily, Emily! God, Emily. Oh, fuck. I always knew you would come. You're my hero. The others are all dead, aren't they? Yes. That's all right, because I was going to have them killed anyway. I am going to be Empress. Wow, that's a weird town. And end the game! Yeah! Okay, I'll tie, but still. They found dead bodies. They did not. Okay. Fuck, that was a lot of... Alright. End game. The end. Alright, I'm gonna be quiet while the end goes over, and then I'll spit my little knowledge just about what's up. Bad ending. Yeah, this is what I was talking about. What will about. history tell us? That the daughter of a murdered empress ascended the throne up a mountain of corpses, carried by an assassin named Corvo? No. They'll say that little Emily Caldwin I came to power in an age of terror and corruption and that she did her best in a world that is not kind to little girls or empresses.
Whether the stories told mention you by name or not, she will remember you were there, Corvo. I feel like that's the good end, but... Woo! Game over. Alright. Now it's time for the end credit talk. We haven't had this yet because we've never got to an end credit of a game. Alright. I really like Dishonored. It is a really fun game. It's a very sneaky assassin type game. But, alright, so I want to retract something. First, I said that this game was very, ugh. It was not. It's it's an art style that I was not used to, so that was my reaction. Um, what else can I say, man? This game was a lot of fun, and there was parts of it that I never got to because, like, alright, here's one thing you can do. You can... And look at that guy. You can choose, like, to be a rat and sneak through the things. I've never done that once. You can bluntly go up and assassinate people, which is what I've mostly done. I've only possessed maybe three people in this entire game. This game is amazing. I highly recommend you play it. It is a lot like Assassin's Creed, but with more of a steampunk. Like, if Ezio had the Apple of Eden the entire game, that would be this. Teleporting around, taking control of people, everything. Alright, now let's talk about Emily. I was supposed to write something up, but I never did. Emily, in this game, um, so there's an argument about female, like, young characters, child characters that people relate with. Now, a lot of people, now a lot of my friends who played this say they didn't really like Emily because they sort of saw her as a very needy child. But I see the exact opposite. Emily was, and I guess this is because I forced myself to like her, she was just a young girl lost her mother. So I sort of coincided with her. And we don't have a voice actor. <laughs> uh, I was going to say, where's Corvo's voice actor? Fuck. The Empress played the heart? Huh. So back to her. She was a very cute kid, and for the entire game, she was supposed to be your reason for doing what you're doing. If you died, you were ready to go, or if you, you know, like, when, when they betrayed you, the only thing that was on my mind was, fuck you, saving Emily. What I wanted to do the entire time, save Emily. It was a very clever way to give you motivation, but you have to make it yourself. I might be reading too much into it, but that's me. But yeah, if I had to score this game, maybe eight and a half out of ten. This game was really good. It's really it had a unique art style, which takes some use, getting used to. And that last that last part fucking blew my mind. God, I panicked. I really had a heart attack. I had a legit little heart attack, man. I shot him. I was like, all right, I can do this without killing Emily. Bam. And fucking Emily fell catching herself but fell I panicked I was like shit no so yeah really good game I highly recommend it for all of you thank you but this the soft works for giving me this jewel to play allowing me rather so let's talk a little bit about next week next week I will be playing a game very similar to this I already have it bought I bought it for $13 can you believe that triple-a game um, next we'll be playing a game very similar to this in the thought of guns in one hand and magic in the other sort of thing and similar idea of saving a little girl so I really like like I I don't know man, I really like this game of how it is and let's just go through the credits because I mean we got to give everybody their glory in case you want to know who the senior brand manager is. Now, I really do support, like, a lot of these things. VP of Sales? Todd Curtis? Yeah. Next week, we'll be playing another game. And next week, the Wednesday of next week, 
we will be playing, um, I think I've mentioned this in other videos, um, episode 36 of Minecraft, I think. We will be playing, ah, oh, sorry, I got stretched, haven't moved really in an hour. Next week, we will be playing, um, the Skyrim for this, I imagine, PC? Oh no, I'm hoping for a Cyber Monday sale. And it should be Cyber Monday by the time at least the episode before this comes out. No, wait, that's in like three weeks. Okay, um, maybe. I don't know. This might be six parts. 30 minutes apart. I've played for about an hour and a half. Two hours. Hold on, I found my phone. Let's see what time it is. My friend lost his power and tried to call me. It is 1 11. Huh. I started playing this at noon, so I was only playing for an hour. Fuck, this is only gonna be two parts. Guess I better start playing the next game. So, yeah. Um, a lot of the feeling that goes behind this game was lost to me because of how I play it. And I m mostly blame myself for this. I play this game in episodical time, so I'll play about an hour and a half at a time. So, at an hour and a half at a time, I don't... Like, a clear example is when I... When they first betrayed me, I was pissed. You could physically, metaphorically hear it over my voice. I was pissed. I was ready. I was killing everybody. Run up to you. Bam. Done. Bam. Done. Bam. Like that. And then I get to, um, and then I stop playing because my game crashed and I come back a month later and I did not have that energy. I was very sneaky. Very, it was a, it's a, it's an emotion filled joyride. And I'm not sure if I got the good ending or not because the bad ending is supposed to be everybody's in turmoil, blah, blah, blah. But it didn't seem that bad. But I think if you get the good ending, she cures the plague. So, yeah, I guess? I don't know. Um, sometime in the week after this comes up, look. Alright, so that's where, now, that we're in the, now that we are at the end of the game, time to tell you something. So, what I've been talking about over the last six months or so I've been playing this is that Assassin, um, not Assassin's Creed, fuck. I've been working on an AMV for this game. Um, it goes... I'm not going to tell you what song it goes to, but you'll see when it comes up. It should come up maybe Tuesday, tomorrow, I guess, when you see this, or the day after. Um, and every game I play, I'm going to do an AMV of it. So this one is a really good one. Um, I really want to tell you that I don't want to spoil it, and now that I've beaten the game, I gotta go through all my past footage and, um, put up, put it up. Well, if I can find the fucking project, um, I was working on it and I saved it, and now I can't find it. I was gonna work on it two days ago, but... <sighs> so, yeah. Thank you. <sighs> Sorry. Thank you, but but this the Studios for giving me this game to play. Thank you, Zen Media, for working on it. Um... There's probably a lot different that you can... This game's very sandboxy, and I love sandbox games. But it was also very linear. It was linear in the sense that you have to get from A to B, but the path you take was very sandboxy. If that makes any sense. Seems like we're getting to the end. Thank you, Wise, Blind Light, Scale Form, uh, Squeaky Wheel, uh, Path Engine, Blink... No, there's no music. Now it's very quiet. Blink, and the end credit's gonna say Dishonored, I bet. No, it's over. Hold the hide behind cover. You cannot be detected. Man, I still think that bush should have hid me. Hey, back to title screen. All right, so. Come back next week for another uh, Steam game, Let's Play thing. Um, 
now that I'm finished, you can rewatch the entire series, start from finish to get the entire story in maybe an afternoon of 13 hours. I don't know. So yeah. And I really love this game. Last point, I hope you go play it on your own. You can probably get beat this game a lot better than I can. So, I'm All Day again, and from the last time, from Dishonored, peace out. Boo! Dishonored!